What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. Now, y'all already knew this one was gonna happen before it even got started. And to tell you the truth, I was waiting on it. And if you have an advanced degree in nosy ratchetology like I do myself, then you was waiting on it too. So Jay-Z released his new album and he actually admits that he really did cheat on Beyonce. So child, I guess Nicki Minaj thought she would join in on the shady train and posted this to her Instagram. She say, oh, so you ninjas gonna sit up here and act like wifey ain't been tell y'all. Number one, don't lose the baddest girl in the world. Hashtag Eric Benet. Number two, stop throwing money your patootie ain't really got. Number three, stop posting them tired stacks on the gram. Oh, but when Jay say it, it's Bible though. Bad bees unite. We ain't been dropping jewels on these ninjas behind closed doors. Tuh. Every girl is making one of these faces at a ninja right now. Womp womp. Hashtag pretty gang. Hashtag facts. So of course, Mr. Crybaby himself. Mr. Twitterfingers himself. Mr. Had Safari beat up but acted like he wasn't there but was caught on tape and still denied it himself. Got all in his feelings and posted it to his Instagram. He says, when they gonna come out with a CD about all the poop these fake bees be doing. Fake skin color, shade. Fake lashes, shade. Fake weaves, shade. Fake patootie, shade, shade, and more shade. Fake mileage, fake nails fake friends, etc. Can somebody speak up? When you finally see them without everything on, ninjas be sick for real. Hashtag don't make me. Hashtag you know I'm savage. Hashtag how dare you. LOL. Mm -mm. Child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Meek Mill has just exposed and confirmed about Nicki Minaj what Remy Ma was saying all along. And don't lie, y'all thought about it too. Well, y'all know a man's my business, but I just want to say this. When you break up with somebody that knows all your deepest, darkest secrets, you got to be more careful than that. Don't talk no junk. Don't see no subliminals. And whatever you do, please, please don't throw no shade. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. Moving on. Now, child, y'all ain't gonna believe this one because I barely believe it myself. Which makes me ask the question, is it real or is it fake? But before I go too far, let me start at the beginning. Now, y'all already know Black China pulled out the heist, I mean, the relationship of the century with rob kardashian but now they are broken up she posted this to her instagram it says single i'm happy hello okay so y'all already know black china and amber rose are thick as thoughts i mean thick as thieves and basically what one does the other one seems to follow now there has been rumors that i can't confirm that black china was cheating on rob with a so-called thug so now all of a sudden amber rose is get this dating 21 savage 21 savage now of course there's nothing wrong with this but again it makes you wonder are they doing it for real or are they doing it for publicity now about two weeks ago these jokers met at a party and then a couple of days ago they were holding hands and then the day before yesterday she was picking him up and driving him around town so then a video started to float around of these two together take a look hey. yes crazy it is like how the world don't really know like how good of a person you are like how you love it and you like to nurture people and it's like they really don't know like how you put everybody before you and you like you know you make make sure everybody else good thank you baby i'm just happy that you know that i don't really i'm so happy i met you Happy I met you too, baby. So happy I met you. You're beautiful, like, even when you ain't trying to be. <laughs> even when you put on your little nerd glasses. Babe. <laughs> mm -mm, 
y'all it's a shame and a scandal a shame and a scandal y'all listen so then everybody started clowning 21 savage so bad about amber rose that he went to his twitter to clear this thing up he says ninja really think a man expressing his feelings to a girl is soft but y'all will tell the ninja who gonna snitch on you you love him every day mm-hmm now 21 ain't lying about that one now don't ask me how i know but just know what i know well y'all know i mind my business but i just want to say this i have no problem with this type of relationship but y'all it seems like one is in it for lust while the other one is in it for attention now y'all can tell me down in the comments which one is doing which because i know y'all know just like i know y'all know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm saying moving on Y'all, the world is still turning, so you know Stevie J and Jocelyn are still being messy. Stevie J is once again claiming that Jocelyn is keeping the baby from him. But Jocelyn spoke up this time and says, nope, that's not how it happened. Okay, so Stevie J posted this video to his Instagram. Take a look. Get it, body. Go, Bonnie. Let's have the sister swim. Sister swim. Aww, look at And he wrote this as his caption. He says, Miss and my Bella, I love my children more than I love myself. And it's fine for you to be used as a pawn. But trust me when I say, once you're in my arms again, that's where you'll stay forever. So then Jocelyn shot back and had someone write this post. It says, this afternoon, Stevie J accused Jocelyn Hernandez of preventing him from spending time with their baby girl, Bonnie Bella. However, Jocelyn and Bonnie left Atlanta only a few days ago. They have been vacationing in Miami where they have family and friends. Also, Stevie seems to forget that Jocelyn left Bonnie Bella at his house all last week. Mm -mm. Rather than spend time with the youngster, Stevie took the opportunity to fly to New Jersey to enjoy several days with his business partner, side piece, Liz Gaspari, and her children. When he wasn't playing water sports, he was passed out in Liz's car. Planes fly from Atlanta to Miami all day long. If Stevie can fly to New Jersey, maybe he can catch a flight to Florida. And then Jocelyn is petted down in the comments talking about ouch but anyway child it's all a shame and a scandal a shame and a scandal so child y'all tell me what y'all think is jocelyn really keeping bonnie bella from stevie or is stevie skipping out on his daddy duties and trying to make jocelyn look bad mm -mm, child let me clutch my pearls and gather myself wait a minute child i ain't done yet every time i try to finish this video jocelyn and stevie j start doing something else someone posted stevie j on their instagram live saying that he owed her some money take a look i know what to do too give me my money give me my money give me my money because you ain't leaving this place give me my money give me my money okay Give a fuck you sending people to my place. Give me my money. Put your hands in. Give me my money. Steven fucking Jordan. Give me my shit. Put your hands in, man. Give me my shit. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You not. Give me my fucking Let's shit. See. Give me my fucking shit. Let's see. Give me my shit. Don't put your hands in. Give me my shit. I'm not putting my hands on you. I'm trying to get my money from you. Give me my money. All right, we just gonna. Mm. Now, it's not clear why he owed her some money. We don't know if she sold him some cookies and he didn't pay for those. Or if she sold him some candy and he didn't pay for that. Or if she sold him some fish plates and he didn't pay her for them. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, then Jocelyn went on her Instagram live and starts going off on Mona Scott Young again. Take a look. Y'all owe me money. You owe me more. More than you owe me money, the network owe me money. 
Child, it's a shame and a scandal. A shame and a scandal. But y'all know I manage my business, but I just want to say this. I don't know if these things are actually happening or if they're making them happen to promote their upcoming projects, events, or shows. Child, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm about to get me a switch for everybody. Because I'm tired of them trying to trick me. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. Moving on. Well, I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.